Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It's been a while. You want to play? So River's playing her new game. I thought I would hop on and do a Sunday vlog. It's been a while. I've currently got pink hair, which is starting to fade out. And I kind of like it like this. It's like slightly faded. It's like tie-dye hair. Mike, you're not a fan of pink hair, are you? In no, general? I don't like Mike, pink hair. He doesn't mind. I, I mean, we've got the tall problem again. That's standard. So um, I just go back to normal vlogging? Be like, well, I am Mike. That way. Um, yeah, how are you tough. today? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I'm kind of ready for action. Ready, ready for, for action. Like, you know, take on Sunday. And I'm ready for lunch, even though it's breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's breakfast time. I mean, we have yeah. no plans today. We have no plans, but a long list of like to-do things, like home to-do things. And I've got some exciting things to update you on, on the house as well, because the decorator was here last week. You guys know that we had the area in our house that we were like prepping to decorate um, has been like that for a long time obviously because everything going on and we had the decorators here last week and we haven't really like updated as we've been going on like normally I do it on Instagram but the whole area of the house has been like blocked off and plastic sheeted off um, so it's finished now so we want to do a bit of sprucing in there and a few other bits and I'm also wearing the most Delightful Fabulous. handmade is that, is that necklace. Um, yep, it's my new custom necklace that I've been made to wear every morning. Also, another update in our household, guys. We have sea monkeys. It will not focus on them because they're too small. Basically, these are about three weeks old now, so they're quite big. And I think that, are they mating? Oh, they're making friends, Riv. Um, they're quite big and we feed them on Sundays. Mommy, so. are they making a fun? <laughs> They're making a fart. Otherwise, it's too much goes in, okay? There we go, you're gonna put it in? Oh, missed. <laughs> you missed. Hang on, put your hand over the water. <laughs> Stuck to her hand. <laughs> there we go. There, look, you can see it going down. Can you see? Can we some look, they get really excited when, they, when we feed them, don't, don't they? Look, they're going yum, yum, yum. They're eating together. They are. We are also making pancakes today because we didn't make pancakes on Tuesday and it was pancake day. Um, Riv doesn't actually like pancakes. I don't know. We try every time. We're hopefully. Are you going to eat pancakes today, baby girl? No. No. Who doesn't like pancakes? We're going to try. We're going to try. Okay. Plant based pancakes. Riv is in charge of mixing. Are you going to mix? Is this a a good one? job. I can't remember. Mixing it up. Good job, Ribby. Are you going to eat some now? No. <laughs> it's the whole body stir. <laughs> Strong game. <laughs> Currently attempting to make uh, Mickey Mouse pancakes for Riv in an attempt to make her eat them, but uh, it's not going too well so far. Do you think that looks like Minnie Mouse? I mean, loosely Minnie Mouse. Is this gonna be more disturbing than it is enjoyable for her? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Who is it, Riv? Minnie Who? Mouse Min and Mickey Mouse. Yes. Guess it. <laughs> yeah, Little bit of Sprinkle. sugar? Are you gonna, what about maple syrup, Daddy? Oh, we got some lemon, if you want some lemon. I mean, they kind of look like the dog's dinner. <laughs> Your ones are the best. Good. Are they tasty? Really good. I made I you. made blueberry ones for mine, What's and I'm that? currently making. It's actually probably burning. I'm making River a heart-shaped one at her request. She liked the couple of blueberries. But yeah, maybe the heat's a little too high. Okay, they might look a little bit crazy, but they're actually super tasty. I just threw blueberries in mine. Mike's got plain. I'll link the. Um, what do you want? Your teddy bears. I'll link the um, recipe we used. I think so pe So many people, like at least my family anyway, are like, you can't make pancakes without eggs. Like they're gonna be gross, but actually they're super tasty. It's kind of, tastes more like a cake than a pancake. <laughs> also just a quick one, cause I know I'll get asked this, cause I've been asked it a million times on Instagram already. Not a million, that was an exaggeration. A lot on Instagram already. How, what I used to get my hair pink, it was actually Bleach London. Not actual Bleach, the brand Bleach London. Um, not this colour either. I used a colour called Odd Fuchsia. I ordered basically a load of these in all the different pinks and then was like, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, which one I picked. I might try this one next. I think this is like, 
this color is more this color like faded whereas the odd fuchsia was obviously quite a bit more um pink it was yeah a bit more pink but we'll see how this fades out i actually prefer this color that it is now after one wash than the last color but that's the thing with pink i mean i get so many questions whenever i do anything with my hair that's pink and i've been dyeing my hair pink like every couple of years since i was 16 maybe 17 I first did it and I had like pink streaks and like <laughs> back when do you guys remember what was she called what was Olivia Wilde's character called in the OC was it Alex can't remember anyway she started that obsession um anyway so and I always get asked about what I use I always use different things and I haven't done it myself in a really really long time um and yeah, that's just what I use. You put it on and leave it for half an hour. The one thing about pink is that when it's washing out, it does tend to look a little orangey, obviously, because that's just how it rolls. With blonde underneath, it's quite... And I'm not white, white blonde. I'm, like, normal, medium, kind of... I don't even know. I'd say I'm, like, a, probably, like, a darker blonde now, to be honest. The ends are very light, but I'm not... Like, if you want to get true, like, candy floss pink, you have to bleach your hair, which I don't want to do. Um, so it does tend to have that like orangey hue, especially at the roots here, where it is a little bit darker. But yeah, that's what I dyed my hair pink with. I've had so many questions. Um, that is all for this little update. I'm just grabbing my laptop from up here. Oh my goodness, guys. Can you see my sweaty chest? <laughs> Gross. Um, we just had a somewhat of a family gym session. It didn't start off as a family gym session. But it ended up as a family gym session. Uh, <laughs> Mike is still there, basically. Riv's got this new obsession. Whenever I'm on the peloton, she wants to get on. So basically, Mike has to come in the gym and play with her. So we had River doing yoga on the yoga mat, Mike doing weights <laughs> and me on the peloton. And now she's discovered all of her baby toys in the cupboard that were in like our storage cupboard. And she has insisted on pulling them out and she's now playing with them. And just generally being a monkey and she's currently We've got a mattress here from when we did the bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. She's currently pretending it's a slide. Is that fun, Riv? <laughs> you crazy lady. Making a little bit of matcha. This is my left hand. I can't, I can't always get probably with my left hand. But I'm making a matcha latte, and I always get asked about this, so I thought I would film it whilst I was doing it. I always get asked which match I use and to be honest I got given this one I don't have it that often I probably have it every couple of weeks um, I don't know how long you're supposed to keep it to be quite honest with you eight weeks okay maybe I've had this a little bit long but I do keep it in the fridge um, this is called Raku Paradise by Sai Hoji don't know I got given it as part of an event I actually really like it and I really like this little box um, I go through phases with matcha but at the moment I am in a matcha phase and i love having the traditional whisk as well rather than different one i had an electric one for a while but i just really love um the actual process of of making it with an old-fashioned whisk but what is not traditional i like doing i basically make a little bit with up with water like this so it's like fully um whisked in and then i actually use my nespresso milk frother to froth the milk put it in and then make a latte rather than drinking it like this um, which is actually so good. The, um, what I'm talking about is this thing, like the Aerochino machine. I basically make hot frothy milk with that and then mix it in. Sometimes also put a little bit of syrup in at the moment. The syrup that I have is this stuff, which is Sweet Freedom Gingerbread Syrup. Very delicious. <laughs> I'm ruining the matcha in some people's eyes. I know, I know, but it makes it taste good. So yum. Delicious. Guys, I'm so excited. Mike and Riv have just been down to our local pub and picked up Sunday lunch takeaway. What a treat. We have it in a box. Um, gonna unwrap it. Yeah. We're gonna eat it now, yeah! Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, my dreams have come true. I've got a whole lemon sole. Mike's got fish and chips. He's eating fish. Whoa there, Nelly. It didn't really have there wasn't anything wasn't vegan on the menu. <laughs> and this little one has got smoked salmon pate that she's decided now that she doesn't like. And some of Daddy's chips and some gherkins. Try that dip. That is so delicious, that dip dip. Uh-oh. And a massive bowlful of gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. So, 
while Mike and River are playing. I'm so stuffed, by the way. That was the most delicious lunch, and I've still got my gin and tonic. We're on the go. We're going upstairs to show you what's changed now. I'm gonna stand here so you don't get a sneak peek. Put my gin down on here. Oh no, you got a sneak peek. <laughs> um, so, what I showed you guys on Instagram, if you guys remember, if you saw it, I mean, some of you might not have seen it. Um, I'm gonna put a picture here of what this hallway was like before and what the bedroom were like before, just to give you an idea. Um, the hallway is very long and skinny and the wallpaper that was in here was quite dark um, and made it feel quite narrow. Um, the ceiling's also very high, so that doesn't help either. Um, and I'll tell you how we've kind of got around that in a second. So that's what the hallway looked like. And the bedroom was a very deep pink wallpaper with like a silvery flower pattern on it. And it made the room very dark as well. Um, so it's so, so different. So I'm gonna show you now. Um, this is the hallway. So we actually painted the hallway in Faro and Ball French gray, which in this light is looking very, very blue. In some lights it looks super green and in other lights it does look more gray. I would say it's it's mostly a green color and the aim here was to do sage green. If you turn the lights on it makes it look a lot more green, if you see what I mean. It looks better with the lights off in the natural light. It looks very, very blue and beautiful. Um, so what we did was add a picture rail up here um, and it almost gives you the effect of dropping the ceiling so that weirdly enough it actually makes the hallway feel a lot wider than it did before. If I turn the lights back on you can see a bit better down the end. Um, yeah, it's a very long, very kind of narrow, tall hallway um, and I feel like it has dropped it down. The light fittings are going in tomorrow. So the light fittings are actually in this little room here which is a teeny tiny bedroom. Um, these are the light fittings that we are putting in. So there's four of these. They're from Pure White Lines, um, which if you follow them on Instagram, love them. Um, yeah, so they're going to run all the way along. And I think it's going to also help to drop the ceiling down even further. But I think it's going to look gorgeous. So the electrician is actually coming tomorrow. I need to um, put all of the fittings and stuff up here so that I can minimise any interaction with him and he can just come up here and, and do his thing. And we put ceiling, little tiny ceiling roses in because they couldn't really go too much bigger than this based on um, how big the roses were, etc. And I think it's worked out really well. Uh, we actually got the ceiling roses and the picture rail and everything from Orac, so they're not proper plaster ones, they are super, super lightweight and our decorator just fitted them um, and they look great. So we've also kept all of the woodwork cream, which it was before, so the same colour as the rest of the house. We st we started changing a few rooms with the woodwork. When we first moved in, we were like, no, we really want white woodwork. And actually, as time's gone on, I prefer cream because I think it's just a lot softer and more kind of classic. Our house is an old house and it just kind of suits it. And it's also easier because once you start changing everything you have to do it and once we got to the main hallway there's a lot of woodwork there's a lot of pa like paneling and stuff and we were just like this is just a bad idea so we stopped painting everything white and we've kept cream and i think in here it looks really really nice like you don't even really notice that it's cream because um you still have the contrast you see what I mean? Would you guys have noticed that? Anyway, you're getting a sneak peek as well into the bedroom, which now looks like this. So this is not finished yet by a long way, um, but the walls are done. So we actually, it's looking so pink on camera. It's not candy floss pink. It's very, very soft. I'm trying to look on camera what it mo most looks like in this corner. It's a very, very soft pink. Camera's making it look like candy candy high scuba um but basically yeah a big difference we also put a new cornice in here and we put a central light with a ceiling rose before it was all um on a five amp circuit and just um lamps around the room uh, which is still there and the five amp circuit is still there as well because i really like that too it's kind of cozy but um we've added a central light which is going in tomorrow which is this little um vintage chandelier which i bought from ebay um, which I really like, so that's going in, also very girly, and then we're also changing the hearth here that has these tiles, which I actually do really love these tiles, but the combination of the white marble with the brick at the back, the concrete at the bottom of here, the blue tiles, the wood, 
The fire surround was previously cream. No, it was white. So the, the woodwork was cream, the fire surround was white. Um, so that also previously, like, just, they just, it's just a lot going on in one place. So we actually painted this in Farrow and Ball Chromity, which is like a, almost like a minty green kind of colour. Um, because I wanted that contrast there. I actually think we should have gone for a more dirty green, like a pigeon or something, but, um, I like it. I like it. And what we're doing here is basically matching this white marble that's already in and putting it in there to make it look look all a little bit more um, cohesive. Anyway, so the colour on the walls is Farrow and Ball Pink Ground. We nearly went for setting plaster and I just thought, you know what, I think it would be nice to have um, something a little bit more girly. Like, I wanted to keep this room really girly still. Um, and the furniture, I actually think the bed... So the bed we got from eBay, not that long ago, um, I think the bed is changing. I'm gonna move this bed somewhere else. It's actually really, really broken. Um, there's a massive split up the side and I had a big argument with the eBay seller about it. Um, and she was basically not very cool and, and lied to us about it. It's also a different size to what she sold it to us for and obviously we didn't know until we put it together because I didn't measure it, but kind of my fault for not being a bit more, uh, I don't know. Like, I shouldn't be so trusting. Um, these lamps as well, we've had for like five years. We bought them at auction. They're brass, antique brass lamps. Um, but they have been cut, like the wire's been cut. So the electrician, when he comes tomorrow, is also doing those as well as changing all the switches from plastic to brass. So this room is still very much under construction. This mirror is going. I'm still not sure whether this mirror is going to go. Um, it might go above the fireplace, but I'm not sure yet. But that's what this room is looking like at the moment anyway. A big difference, also the curtains, oh my god, yeah, curtains. So I'm still not sure about what to do with curtains and I've actually found it really hard because um, I've got a few samples, I've had a few samples from um, websites that I've ordered, but I haven't found anything right. And it's obviously really difficult, my hair looks so funny in this room, it's like serious Barbie takeover. Um, I just haven't found anything perfect yet and it's obviously really hard at the moment because you can't go into shops and like just look through a book and then you see like hundreds all within one visit. You have to kind of order what you think you might like and I've been ordering like two or three samples here, two or three samples there and I still haven't found it. So I've got my, I've got a really lovely lady locally to me who makes curtains for me or has in the past. <laughs> it's not like her job to make curtains, <laughs> who I get to make curtains when we need curtains. Um, and... Uh, I've got her like lined up to do it, but I haven't found the fabric yet, which is kind of frustrating, but we'll get there with the curtains. Any suggestions would be, um, yeah, very welcome. And any, yeah, any suggestions for anything in this room really, because it's still like, we've just kept the furniture, because the furniture didn't leave um, when it was being decorated. It was just in the middle of the room covered in dust sheets. So it's still, we kind of put it back together. And we've got our little, so this wardrobe, if you guys remember, if you've been following me for a while, this has been with us since, I was about 21, I think I got this wardrobe and this desk um, for like 200 pounds at auction. Um, they are seriously beaten up, but they live in here and I like them, they go, they, they kind of go in here. So um, there's that and then, yeah, obviously the bed, bedside tables were another auction find. Um, that little chair normally goes with the desk and then that mirror was previously here above the desk but I don't think I'm going to put it back there yet and I haven't decided yet where things are going on the walls so we're just not putting anything on the walls yet and what the furniture is going to be like like I said I've ordered another bed so it'll be interesting to see how this all comes together because at the moment it's the colours on but the room is very much not together and we're kind of waiting like I said electrician is the next step he's coming tomorrow um, and then go from there really see what we can find. We need curtains a lot in this room because I don't know if you guys can see, but there's four windows and it's just very like, it's very bare without curtains. Obviously on the hearth is the next step too. So that's where we're at. And then this bathroom is here, which you guys love. Every time um, we do anything around this bathroom, I get so many comments about it. Um, I'm assuming you, which you guys love. like you might not love it but um we always get tons of comments these are the radiators from this hallway so they go there and then at the bottom of these little stairs here which are going back in next week and then we will have the bathroom back which is great because this bathroom has been there's a lot of pillows in the corner as well this bathroom has been out of action 
for a long time because I don't know if you guys remember before Christmas when we were starting stripping the wallpaper in here, we got the radiators taken out. Um, so yeah, since December those have been out. So um, it's actually not been too cold up here though, which is pretty good considering there's been no radiators in. Um, and the other radiators, that's the other thing that needs to go back in here, the other radiators in here are being refurbished because they were like these ones. This is like super detail, I don't know if you guys are interested in this. Basically, these radiators were put into our house from, I think they were from a shoe factory, like a, or a local factory in some way. When we got the house, we, um, a lot of the radiators were like flaking off because they'd been painted, like hand painted with normal paint. <gasps> A jammy dodger, show everybody. Uh, We're just licking it. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. Jammy dodgers, Riv. Um, and they were basically just all flaking off like snake skin coming off. So we've been gradually, like every time we redecorate, we refurb a radiator. So um, that's the other radiators from the pink bedroom are now outside the front door. Mike's listening to my commentary now, I'm sitting on the loo. <laughs> Not actually on the loo, I'm just sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, those are out by the front door, they're ready to get refurbed, but um, it takes a while, so they will be coming back soon as well. And that's the house updates for you all, I feel like I've waffled on a lot. Um, and we've got everybody up here, we've got the dogs, everyone. Cheeky chicken. Yeah, we Cheeky chicken. I try and purposefully not put Riv, like frame her in angles of camera, she just really wants to be on camera all the time, she's like this in the corner, like. Um, but yeah, so that's the update for Sunday. So I've just come upstairs to have a bath. Does anyone else with children in the house do this on autopilot? Every time I go to run a bath, I put the like non-slip thing at the bottom of the bath every time and usually I only realise that I've autopiloted doing this um, halfway through running it and then have to pull it out when it's all wet. I, I don't know what is wrong with me but like as an adult that doesn't need a non-slip bath mat you don't want it in there. It's like doesn't feel nice on your ass so I don't know why I do it every, every single time. Every time. And I think I'm going to have a little bit of a pampering Sunday night and put a face mask on. I actually made, you guys saw my reels last week. I did like a, like favorite at home peels. And super annoyingly, Charlotte Tilbury just launched one like a few days after I posted that video. I've used this once already and it's so good. So I think I'm gonna use that again. Um, and then I'm gonna repaint my nails because they are disgusting. And then I'm going to go to bed, I think, probably. I'm going to put in, I've also oh, just dropped the product in the bin, which is under my shelf, which is a bit precarious, isn't it? I'm also going to use my new bubble bath, which I got sent the other day, and it smells amazing. I absolutely love it. It's the Suzanne Kaufman Mallow Blossom bubble bath. Um, I also used up all of these, if you guys saw my recent vlog, or haul even. Ugh, I don't even know where my head's at this evening. Um, and randomly, I, I literally just finished them and I got sent a package um, from Space NK and they had, it had more in them, they're amazing. Maybe I'll go wild and put a little bit of both in there. Who knows, crazy Sunday night. So we're now in bed. Mike is flicking. Mike flicks. I flick real good. He flicks so bad. <laughs> he flicks through Netflix like, you know, just like flick, 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 like going over all the things. I'm like, wait, don't, 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 what, 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 what's that? I want to see. Anyway, he's so I annoying. I'm just going to go. By the time he decides what he wants decided. to watch, I normally am um, we're asleep. Going, we're going for a real... He's putting on Outbreak, Yeah. which I've never seen before, but it's from 1995 and it's basically about a pandemic. Why not? Mid-pandemic, let's get in the mood. It's like, it's like a we watched, Sunday mood. We re-watched re Contagion, like, early doors. This is... A little bit. Um, oh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Right. Like 20 some years. Well, it's a depressing way to end Sunday evening, isn't it? On the plus side, I've redone my nails. I've done my face nails. mask. Mine good. They actually look very similar to mine, look. It's just like super neat. This is my favourite. Natural. Love yeah. it. Um, yeah, see you next weekend, guys. I hope you've all had a good one. Oh. And um, nothing else to report. You've gone upside down, Barbara. <laughs> Bye. Your camera's crazy. How can your camera go?